Hey everybody, it's Martha. Welcome back to my Shabby Craft Studio. I have been MIA for a few days, but that's because I was up to no good. No, not really. Um, <laughs> well, maybe. I'll never tell. So, uh, Sunday and Monday, I worked on reorganizing my studio, and I'm extremely happy with it at this point. It'll, it, it won't stay this way, it never does, but I'm happy with it. Um, and while that was happening, my mind was uh, busy, <laughs> let's just say, thinking of what's going to be next. And of course, I uncovered a lot of things while I was reorganizing. But as you know, I have this cover that I did with the other cover for the bird journal. And um, so it's been sitting out and calling my name. However, <laughs> my brain got to moving on. And um, so I also worked on my um, eco kit. And that is not done yet. But I was going through books and I found this and I thought the colors were such a perfect match that I think I'm going to use these in the journal. Um, there's an envelope. These are all extras that were supposed to go into my last um, journal, but there was not enough space for everything in it. Um, some of the things are just things that were in bins sitting out. That's, you know, part of a signature that started getting put together. That came out. These came out. This is scrapbook paper, but I had pre-made them into like um, signature covers. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, these are the pages that I showed in my last video that I die cut based on what Eve Spade did. So these are hanging around. Oops, there's another one. And then this page was sitting around and some tracing paper. Everybody's favorite sound. And then I just have a bunch of other papers that were floating here and there because, you know, I just tossed them as I was uh, playing with them. And then I have this <laughs> stack of eco pages and I was playing around with them in the computer and trying to edit them and Tony scanned them all from originals. These are these are all prints. And so um, what I did was I have marked some of them on the back and I've gone into Adobe Photoshop elements and lightened some of them and stuff like that. So I chose some and did backing pages on some of them. Uh, so these are the ones that I did. And if you like these, let me know. These are probably going to become a kit at some point. Then I made some tags and I printed these on the cream card stock. So this one and this one are the same. I did, I did two of each. And then I did these the other day. Um, and that's it so far. I'm not done. <laughs> I'm not done creating stuff. But I sat at the computer today pretty much um, with a few breaks from about 9 o'clock a.m. to like 1.30 um, with some breaks in between. Had breakfast, helped Tony make a uh, mm, crisp, like an apple crisp kind of thing because he had all these apples sitting around and wanted to know what to do with them. So we're, we're just going to, um, I'm going to throw some things together. <laughs> I think I kind of want to use these, but I need to do something with the insides. So I think I'm going to give these to Tony. He's been doing a bunch, and I'm talking about a bunch every day, of acorn dyeing for me. And so um, I think I'm going to have him acorn dye the insides of these because I think it'll make them really pretty. So we're going to set those aside put them on my iPad because I take my iPad everywhere. This was in some of my collection and I just really like it. So um, I, I wanted to, I have no idea what I did with this. Okay, well, 
This was just sitting there like that, but that seems to be a pocket in its own. So I might use that. I don't know yet. That's going in the bin. I have to decorate these and, you know, some other things still. And I only have one of these pulled. I only have two paper sacks, paper bags pulled. So um, I'm probably going to spray these, I think. And, but we'll see. And then this is a signature that I ended up pulling because I just had too many pages or too many signatures or something in another journal. So this just got pulled. So this will become three signatures. All of, all of this stuff will become three signatures. And as usual, I get overwhelmed and then don't know where to start. So <laughs> just, we're going to pile it in this basket that it's... I like to use a basket like this as a um, project basket. I have baskets and then I have like plastic bins. They're all about the same size, but I like to use them as project bins because for me, it just helps keep me straight. Yeah, I know. So I'm going to grab my, so I have my camera at a little bit different angle. Um, so I hope this works for you guys and my head doesn't get in the way because literally it's like three inches above my head, but it's in front of my forehead and I have to sit back away from my desk <laughs> because, because I would whack it with my head just trying to do what I need to do. But I like the angle when it films. So yeah. So I, I'm really happy with the way the eco pages are coming out. I just, I have a lot more work to do on them. Um, with um, the opacity, which means I'm just, you know, trying to make them not quite so dark on some of them. Um, and then I have to, and, and so here's where my conundrum comes in. Tony bought me a brand new monitor, which I'm absolutely thrilled with. It's about as big as uh, this placemat on my, or this calendar back. Not really, but it, it's a good size. It's almost as big as this, and I'm thrilled with it. However, um, I, I'm thinking, <laughs> sorry, thoughts, squirrel. However, um, I still have an issue with my monitor not showing me the same colors as the what prints out. I, I don't know how to uh, correct that. I tried it with my computer monitor on my laptop and it just was not, it wasn't playing nice. So when I'm editing stuff, and correcting it in Photoshop Elements, I am having an issue with it not um, printing out the same as it's showing on my monitor. So that takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time and a lot of work, and it's a bit frustrating, but it is what it is. So <laughs> not complaining, mind you. I am extremely thrilled with my new monitor, but basically it it sort of gives me the same colors as my old, well, it's better. It's better, much better resolution and stuff like that. But it, I'm going to try something here after I get done cutting these out. Don't know if it's going to work or not, but I'm going to try it. I don't know if you can see what's coming. So yeah, I am extremely thrilled because I do not have to lean forward in bad posture and squint at the um, monitor. On the, on the laptop anymore. It's so nice. So I think I should get my scoreboard. Because I put everything where it belonged, I know where it is. <laughs> I don't have to search for it. It's so nice. So let's see. And try and do this without sticking my head. <clears throat> in the in the camera
Okay. So, let's see. Sorry, I got to take it off screen for a second so I can line this up. <laughs> I hope that's lined up. I am going to try really, really hard to make sure things get back where they belong when I am using them because I hate having a mess. I am not anal in any sh way, shape, or form. Well, okay, I lied. I am anal <laughs> about some things. I am not a neat freak. Honest to goodness, I am not. You should see, you know, like the bedroom where I have books piled up and clothes on top of that and <laughs> yeah so I'm just trying to get these a little more trimmed up so I am very happy like I said with my studio the way it is so I think I'm gonna use this because this back one is plain Let's see it would open that way and if it opens this way if I glue it down here and it opens this way then these two sides could be used for writing on if I folded it the other way it could open the other way so maybe I'll do that with the other set And we'll have one of each going each way. I think that seems fun. So I hope this finds everybody doing well. I know um, there's a lot going on still with fires. And I know that it's an extremely stressful time for those of us in the U.S. with the election coming up in a week. But I don't talk politics. What I do about politics is my business. What you do is yours. <laughs> if you don't share with me, I won't share with you. <laughs> and so I know it's causing a lot of people a lot of stress. Um, all we can do is hope for the best outcome for all of us. And pray that there is no civil unrest when it's over. No matter what the decision is, no matter what the outcome is, and that everybody acts like adults, which sadly is not happening around our country, but that's okay. It is what it is. This is probably the side that's being glued down, but, you know, <laughs> ink it anyway. And where that came from just now, I have no clue. I guess it came from me folding the, the thing over, but that's there. It's there now. I embrace the flaws because if I didn't embrace the flaws on myself or the work I do, I would drive myself absolutely insane. Yeah, so Tony's... Tony's been helping me a lot. He's wanting me to show him more things on the computer, which is hard because, you know, as I explained to him this morning, there's certain things like, how do I know which pages I want to print out and what I want on the back of them? I don't until I do it. Okay, so that could glue down and that could open this away. That's very pretty. Or it could glue down and open this away. I like that. That's definitely going on a page. So I also printed them off in white, um, but I may just use these as regular tags or back them somehow. I'm not sure yet. So I think I'm going to do, well, actually, I can't do, <laughs> if I'm going to do another one like that, I should have printed them 
all on cream, but that's okay. I'll work it out. I'll, I'll figure it out. Whack the tops of those off, didn't I? I am so far behind on watching other people's videos. It's not even funny. Like, not even funny. <laughs> it's just... It's just... I'm going to... Um, that's too thick. Let me get a piece of paper here. This is some of the acorn dyed paper Tony's been doing. Isn't it lovely? Man, what side do I want to keep up and what side do I want to glue down? <laughs> I don't know. Well, since they're going to be writing on this, I think we will glue this side down. Glue. I even organized the glue on my desk. Isn't that something? So organized now. Just going to get something glue on. Sorry. Okay, there we go. So we've had, um, and I'm not complaining, just, just trying to make conversation. We've had, yesterday was gloomy. I'm trying to remember. I can't remember everything. Yesterday was gloomy. Uh, today is gloomy, hasn't actually rained either day. I, it may have sprinkled yesterday, just momentarily. Not enough to get anything wet. Um, it's gloomy today. And it. let's see, today's Wednesday. It's going to rain, possibly storm tomorrow. Nope, that's not going to work. <laughs> I'm so frugal. Cheap, cheap, cheap. And, okay, can she do it? Can she do it? Maybe she can do it. All right, sticky fingers. And, um, got a new AARP card. <laughs> yeah. Please come join AARP because you're older than dirt. So the hurricane that is moving up the coast from Louisiana and so forth is supposed to come through here, I believe, tomorrow. And hopefully it's just going to bring rain, but... It could possibly bring wind. Now, I haven't heard that on our local news yet. However, that being said, I don't listen to a lot of local news. <laughs> I do look at my weather apps. I have three of them. Don't ask me why. I have no clue. But I do look at my weather apps. So, I do pay attention to them. But, you know, they, the weather channel, they like to exaggerate a bit sometimes so um there's that but we're not supposed to get torrential down downpours as far as I know and we are hopefully not going to get any heavy winds but the track I mean if you look at the track that they're showing coming right through Virginia right right through and then taking off for the coast but i mean come on that's the track of every stinking storm that comes through that comes up from the south is um right it, they always take you know that curve and curve over to virginia and it's just like can you just leave us alone storms we we just really don't want you however 
again, it's not supposed to be severe, I don't think. I haven't gotten any severe storm warning, uh, you know, watch out on Thursday. So, we shall see. So, let's see. Over the weekend, Sunday I worked on my studio. Saturday. What did I do Saturday? I think I was a slug Saturday. I don't think I did a darn thing. I can't remember, though. It's possible I did something. <laughs> it's possible. Um, I did have a doctor's appointment yesterday. Man, I, I am not. I had two doctor's appointments last week. And I, I was not thrilled or happy to go to them at all. I ended up having ear infections in both ears. Because in March, as everybody was going on lockdown, I got a sinus infection and ear infections, and I waited until last week to go to the doctor. So I was on antibiotics for a week. My ears are not 100% cleared up yet, so I am not uh, sure that the infections have gone away. I sure don't want to go back to the doctor. And then I had a heart test because I have to go see my cardiologist in December. And he ordered these tests for me like, I don't know, nine months ago. Maybe longer. Probably longer. It was actually in late 2019, I believe. Maybe it was mid-2019. I have no idea when the last time I went to him. But anywho, I knew he had ordered these tests for me and... I don't like messing around with, you know, the heart stuff. And um, don't want another heart attack, so <laughs> thank you very much. No, thank you. So I um, went to get the tests done, and the heart echo seemed to come out really well. At least the tech told me it came out really well. I'm going to let that dry because I don't like to fold anything with wet glue because, you know, it can be a mess if you do. You get a crease and, a, and bumps and everything else. So, yeah, so I went and the Heart Echo Tech lady was very nice. It's from Boston originally. And... This is not, these. none of these are the same height, so I just, I don't think. Oh, they were. Wow. I, I got just the tip of that circle, but I don't think it's going to hurt it any. And so, um, she, her, her words to me were, the doctor will be happy with this report. And that tells me knock wood, hopefully, hopefully, unless she's yanking my chain, that, um, you know, everything came out okay with the echocardiogram. Um, and then yesterday, I had to go get my carotid artery sonogram. And was not the best report, but it's not the worst, and I don't see the doc until the end of, I mean, the beginning of December. So, we'll see what he says about it. There seems to be one little spot in my right artery that the tech was kind of saying, eh, Doc might not be real happy with that one, but he didn't think the tech, now, mind you, he's a tech, not a doc. He didn't think the doc would want to do anything about it right away. Keep an eye on it kind of thing, you know. So, we'll see about that. And, um, just hope that goes well. I don't know why I'm using those scissors. My hand can barely reach across the span of them when they're open. I do much better with these. 
Oops. Yeah, the weather hasn't slowed down the golfers any today. That's for darn sure. Or the people that um, groom the landscapers for the golf course. Man, those guys are just out every day blowing the leaves and, and all that good stuff. So you might ask why I'm taking the time to cut all these out instead of putting the journal together because I get overwhelmed. So I have to... I have to do what I can do when I'm doing it. <laughs> Does that make sense? Uh, I keep missing my garbage can. Okay. Aren't those pretty? Now this one... I manipulated that in Photoshop. I wish I had the skill that some of the other people we know that make digital kits have. My skills just are not quite up to par with like the Andreas and the Rachels and all of them. So I'm working on it. I'm learning a little at a time. Yes, I'm throwing those pieces away. If you saw my bin which my husband saw and asked me, why are you keeping all those little pieces? Yeah, if you saw my bin with uh, cardstock in it to stamp, like, you know, words and numbers on, and, you know, I, I've kept so much of it that it just makes no sense to keep keeping, keep keeping them. So, although I do feel guilty for throwing those bigger pieces away because I certainly could use them for stamping on <laughs> You didn't know I had to concentrate just to cut things out, did you? Yep, 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 yep. That's the way it goes, right? Right? I love having tags to cut out because... Whoop! Whoopsies. Because you can decoupage on them. You can layer on them. You can leave them as is, and they make really lovely writing tags just like this, in my opinion. Um, you know, if you have a lot of bulk from decorating your journal, and you don't want to bulk up the stuff that's going in the pockets, this is a great way to do it. Now, see, this actually looked green on my computer screen. It's not green. <laughs> It's more blue than green. So, yeah. All right, let's see how far I am. About almost 30 minutes. Phew. All righty. So I can ink these in front of TV. No need to ink right away, right? I mean, I did these, but that's because I wanted to see how it was going to turn out. Okay, so this one opens that way. So I think this one will go this way. Let's see if I can get them lined up. And I put them close together, not so you could do this, but so that you could do this if you wanted to. Now this kit is not in my shop yet. Like I said, I got a lot more work to do on it. But is that what I wanted? No, that way, that way, no, that's the exact same way. <laughs> All right, let's see. And I didn't use the, um, the board on this one either. Oh boy, All right, let's see. Yep, that's the way it goes. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it, uh-huh, uh-huh. So this will open this way, and this could be a side tuck or a top tuck if you wanted it to be, or a side tuck on this side, because that'll be the folded side. So that can go on one side of the page, and then this will go on the other. And you get to see all of the leaves, and you get to have that side to write on. 
And on this one, you get to see all of the leaves and you get that side to write on. I could even, if you wanted to put these in the same signature, which I don't, you could put fabric or paper here and then put them on either side of a, a page. So, you know, well, anyway, you could if you did it the right way and you knew what you were doing, which I obviously don't. So those are done. So I have now tags for pockets and tags to fold. So now I think I need to put some pages together, don't you? I guess. <laughs> I guess so. Okay. This always takes, I don't know if I'm going to use this one, although this does sort of kind of go to that. I don't know if I'm going to use that one because I do have those other ones I'm hoping Tony will die for me. So let's do this. And we'll do a music sheet. That's upside down. Why is it upside down? <laughs> well, hello, Martha. Why would I have done that upside down? The pocket's right side up, but the rest of it's upside down. Makes no sense to me. But if I do that, now we have a fold in it. We shall see. Okay. All right, let's put that in there. And we'll put a calendar page in there. These are fun to write on because you can write in a little block or you can write all the way across. So very much fun to do that. So let's put another one of these pages. Actually, I'm going to take this one. And I'll take this one. And this one. And this is this is a legal size piece of paper that I just folded the the edge in on. And then take that one. And where am I? We put a crinkly crunchy in there. And then I'll take that one. Another one. What do you know? I'll take some writing paper in there. Where am I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I do think I'm going to get three signatures into this journal. I think, I hope I can get three signatures. Um, however, <laughs> 11, 12, I didn't do one of those already, right? No. Um, it's card stock. I don't want to use that right away. Okay. And 13. Now, I am reserving the right to have 13 pages in there and add or subtract down the road. Mostly because um, if I add envelopes and fold them in there, it's going to count as an extra piece in the spine. And I like to make sure that the spines are not um, overloaded, I guess is the word. I just... I don't know what I'll add down the road as far as into the spine. So I'm going to wait until I decide that. Okay, and I'll probably put washi down the sides of those because that paper is very, very tender paper. Seems there was something else I was going to put in these two. And see, now I can't remember what, so... <laughs> All right, there's one. I think I'll use this one. 
that on this. And I'm out of stuff. Am I out of stuff? Not totally. Now those book pages that I did the die cutting on, I think I'm going to have to fold off on um, using those. So let me grab some more of my, let's see, what else do I want in here? that bin. Oh. All right, so I have my paper bin here. So we're going to pull one of these out. Oops. Actually, I pulled two out because I want one for the next signature. And I don't have one of these in Ugh. the first one. So I'm put one of those in the first one. Some more. Oh, that's too many. Legal size. One for that signature. One for the next. That back. Yep. So I have a bin with all of my dyed copy paper, ledger paper, notebook paper, and stuff like that in it. Four acorn pages. Let's make that six. I know I'm going to need some more pages. And then I have my calendar pages. Let's see if I have any already torn into separate. Nope, I don't. We'll tear that one. What else do I have that I could pop in here? Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, and then I go to my other bin. Oh, I might need one more of these. I don't know how No, I think I have two of those. Then I go to my other bin, and that's where my doilies and paper bags and envelopes, big envelopes that I make covers out of. Okay. And I have those book pages, like music sheets. Uh-oh. Where are my... Ooh, let's do a coffee filter. <laughs> yeah, see what I mean? Squirrel! Okay, I cannot find my funny shaped paper. My special shaped paper. Don't know where it is. I can see this video is probably going to need some editing. You don't want to sit there while I'm doing this, right? Here it is. Did I already take some out? I didn't think I took some out. All right. Take a couple of these out. There we go. All right. I think I'm done. See, I've already made a mess. All that stuff is now sitting on the floor around me. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious me. Didn't mean to take so long. Okay, let's see. Uh, so I want the page to go that way. So I have to tear it this way. <laughs> oh, the brain can't handle it. <laughs> okay. All y'all need to go in the tray. Okay. All y'all. I didn't grow up talking that way, honest to goodness. I just pick up whatever I am in the vicinity of when I start speaking. You go to Maine, I start speaking like a Mainer. I talk like I'm Canadian half the time. A? Eh? <laughs> I'll ask Tony a question and I'll go, A? Eh? And he's like, where is that coming from? I don't know. All right, so I have to rip this again. So it would have been right to rip it down the side, front and center. Okay. Yay. She did it. Success. Okay. 
Now, I lost all the pages I had started on, didn't I? Acorn. Put that in there. And... <laughs> oh my goodness, the waste is me. Are you bored yet? Okay. And then... I'll put... I think I'll fold this in half and then and I think I'm going to do some Tattered Angels spraying on some of these pages so I am not going to be sewing these in right away. This is going to take me some thinking about what I want to add as far as color because I love the colors in this eco dyed flower eco paper stuff that I did. Some of them are the leaves and some of them are the flowers that I toned down or changed the opacity of I should say. So alrighty where are the in there? found this paper at Hobby Lobby and I love it, but I can't find any more. Like they have, when I first started going to Hobby Lobby after they opened here, um, probably a year and a half, two years ago, maybe. I don't think it was two years yet though. It's still a fairly new store here. They had this section where they had all of these cards and, um, stationary things and stuff like that. It was actually over in the, the fabric section. And it was like the kind of things that people would buy to have wedding invitations made out of and stuff like that. Cards, envelopes, and stuff like that, which I need to pull out too because I have so many of them. I need to use them up. I am such a hoarder when I think I can't get something again. It's awful. <laughs> it's really awful. So, I, um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, I haven't been able to find any of that stuff anymore in Hobby Lobby. And it's frustrating for me because, um, yeah, I would like to restock some of them. Now, granted, I haven't really used a whole lot of them because, like I said, I hoard things. And then I don't know if I can find them again. <laughs> it's awful. It's really, really bad. It really is. I have no idea if I'm putting similar pages in here together or not. Oh, I forgot to add some of these. Well, hello there. All right. Let's add this here, and then we'll add this one here, and I'm obviously going to have to print off some more. All right, what's that give us? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One more. I get one more. Okay. Oh, man. Chunky already. Oh, one more. So I did the calendar already. So I think we'll do this one. Okay. And then obviously I'm going to have to print off like three or four more of those because I think I used three in each one, right? One, two, Did I not use three in here? <laughs> yeah. Well, I need some music sheets. And I need one of those book pages. Nope. I only used two. And I used three in here. Where's my other sheet? I thought I did six. All right. Well, 
I'm going to print off some more of those and pull together my third signature. And when I get that done, then I will be back and we'll start deciding what else I want in the signatures. But I think I have probably bored you to tears enough today. And we're at 45 minutes, so I'm going to call this one a video. And I will see you back here sometime in the next couple of days. So I hope everybody does well. Thank you so much for being here. Love you all. I'm grateful. I hope you're well. I hope you are having a good day and a good week. And you're out of the way of any weather danger, fire danger, anything like that. And that um, you're crafting. Happy crafting. Love y'all. Bye.